All right, then welcome back everyone. That's all this question, not dividing. So I hope you have read the question once, uh, but I'll quickly read it for you. So basically, you are given an array of uh, positive integers, and you have an operation in your hand. That operation is basically choose any number of array elements and add one to it. It is important to note that you don't need to minimize the number of operations, but uh, what you need to achieve in the end is uh, AI plus one is not divisible by AI. So basically, an array element is not divisible by just an element before it. Okay, just an element before it, an array element should not be divisible by it. Okay, and in the end, what do we have to output is so input is simply an array. Okay, array of positive integers, and uh, we have to output. Uh, the modified array basically right for each test case print the answers in separate line fine the resulting array after applying at most to an operation so basically uh, the question is simple you have an array of positive integers you can choose like the operation is choose any number of elements add one to it you have a bounded number of operations but you at most you can do two and operations only and what you need to achieve after applying at most to an operation is ai plus one is not divisible by ai so basically an array element is, is not divisible by element just before it okay you don't need to minimize the number of operations fine so these are some example test cases they have given so let's we'll just quickly go to sublime and try to make sense out of it Okay, so here I've just taken a few examples. Uh, so I'll just reframe the condition like this. Uh, what we are after is AI is uh, basically AI is not divisible by. Basically, this is what we want, right? AI is not divisible by AI minus one. This is what we want to achieve for i equals to one to n minus one. This is zero based indexing I've taken. Okay, so I just reframe that condition that AI is, should not be divisible by AI minus one. I meant just before it for i equals to one till n minus one. Fine. And the operation that we have in our hand is uh, adding one to array elements. Okay, pick any number of array elements and add one to it. Fine. So okay, so first. Uh, thought that came to my mind is in this question is can I simply go from left to right checking all the pairs checking all the adjacent pairs because this question like it depends on the adjacent pairs right a and a minus one so I thought uh, the simplest idea came to my mind is let's just go from left to right and uh, try to see every adjacent pairs and uh, if they are divisible like basically if a is divisible by a minus one then I do something I do some changes okay I'll add one to their elements so this is our aim right so this is our aim okay and to achieve this we have one this operation add one to array elements okay fine so here uh, I have taken an example here. Uh, understand this? So of course I I'll start from this right. I'll start from first index because uh, zeroth index doesn't have any element before it. So I'll start from the first index. So is three divisible by three? Uh, of course three is divisible by three, right? So we need to do some changes. Okay. So you can either add a uh, one. Uh, so the operation that in that you have in your hand is adding one, right? So you can either add one here to AI or add one to AI minus one. Add one to AI minus one. Okay. Uh, but there's a like. Okay, uh, then I thought, okay, let's add one to a minus one. Okay, so I added one here. So now it is not divisible by. Uh, now it is not divisible by. A is not divisible by a minus one. So I decided, okay, let's try to apply operation a minus one and see if it works or not. Okay, so that's what I did. So since a was divisible by a minus one, I just added one to a minus one. Okay, a minus one. Okay, let's move on to fifteen. Uh, is fifteen divisible by three? Is fifteen divisible by three? Yes, it is. Right. So uh, as, according to my rule, I'll add a one to a minus one. So if, I, if I do something like this, what do you see here? A previous effect, like a previous change, uh, because of the previous change, now this pair uh, again is uh, like four is again divisible by four, right? So this is a problem. If I change a minus one, a future effect might uh, create a problem. So basically, a future change. For example, here I change this three because I know if three is divisible by three, four won't be divisible by three. So I just added one here. Okay. This created a problem because later this this three was changed. If this three was changed to uh, some multiple of four, or here simply four, then it created a problem, right? So Adding one to a minus one didn't make sense to me. So what I thought is, let's try to make changes to ai ai only then. Okay, so I'll keep it here only. So this is wrong. Okay, this is wrong because why wrong? Because here you will see, uh, you'll have to continuously come back and forth, right? So there is no limit on uh, like the bound will be problematic, right? You won't be able to do it in two an operations. You're not sure because you have to again check again, and right? you have to again and again look uh, look that if ai is divisible by ai minus one or not. Okay, so this is wrong. So changing ai minus one, changing ai minus one uh, was not a good idea. Okay, changing ai minus one. Wasn't a good idea. Okay, so now what about what next? Let's try to change the i then. Uh, the rule still remains, right? So if four is divisible by three, definitely. Okay. <laughs> if three is divisible by three, definitely four won't be divisible by three. If let's say six is divisible by three, definitely seven won't be divisible by three. Okay. Similarly, if nine is divisible by three, definitely ten won't be divisible by three. So yeah, I can add one to ai. Okay. I'll come to that part when uh, one is present. Okay. Don't worry. I know you are thinking in that direction. So this example is that only. Fine. So. What I can do is if AI is divisible by AI minus one, I can just add one to AI. Right? In this case, in this case, okay, three fine, no issues. Three is divisible by three, right? So just add one to AI. Just uh, add one to AI. Right? Don't change AI minus one because it can create problems. Right? So keep it like three here. But if AI is divisible by AI minus one, just add one to it. Now definitely AI won't be divisible by it. Okay? Now AI won't be divisible by AI minus one. Now come here. Now is fifteen divisible by four? No. Just keep it as it is. Okay. Fifteen divisible by four? No. Just keep it as it is. Fine. So let's just take uh, one more example here. Uh, two, four, three, six. Um, uh, two, four, three, six. So two. Okay, fine. We we, do, we don't start from the. We start from here. So is four divisible by two? Yes. 
Is AI divisible by AI minus one? Yes. So add one to AI minus one. So five won't be divisible by two now. Uh, five won't be divisible by two. Okay, fine. Let's move ahead. Is three divisible by five? Uh, basically, of course, you made a change, right? So is three divisible by five? So now you are working in modified data, right? So is three divisible by five? Uh, no. So keep it as it is. Is six divisible by three? Yes. So just add one to it. So you see, uh, if you change AI when AI is divisible by A minus one, you don't need to worry, right? You don't need to worry <laughs> about like this this problem, right? That a change might a future change might uh, nullify a earlier change. So that's one thing. There's only one problem here. Uh, what if you have one? What if you have one? Because uh, in this case, uh, in this case, if AI is divisible by AI minus one and it is one, then there is a problem. Uh, why there is a problem? See, uh, there is a problem because if two is divisible by one, three is also divisible by one, four is also divisible by one, five is also divisible by one. So one is a problem, right? And uh, there can be many ones, right? So you can have something like this also. Okay. So what are you going to do? Ones are a problem. Hmm. So uh, this can be your area as well, right? So you might say that increase both of them, but that not might exactly work. Uh, that that may not exactly work. Uh, you can like trace out some examples for you. So the simplest approach is one sir problem for you, right? Uh, one sir problem for you. Uh, what you do is you make sure there are no ones in the area, right? One sir uh, problem to our strategy. Okay, so you can think a lot of things. Maybe you can try to increment uh, all the ones or something like that. Like, but the simplest strategy. What is the simplest strategy? Just remove all the ones, right? Remove all the ones. So what do you mean by remove all the ones? Make sure, make sure no ones are present before we start processing. Before we start processing, if you make sure that you don't have any ones, this logic will always work, right? If AI is divisible by A minus one, just add one to AI, right? So that, that should work. So that you can do anyway, right? So whenever, it, while taking input only, you can make sure if there is a one, just increment it. If there is a one, just increment it, okay? And it won't also like create a problem in this uh, upper bound on operation 2N, right? Because what you'll do, you'll apply at most N operations. You will apply at most n operations to change all the array elements. Basically, initially it can happen, right? All the array elements are one. So what will happen? You will perform n operations. You will perform n operations to change all of them to, let's say, two, right? To change all of them to two. This is the worst possible case. And here also, since my loop is starting from first index, you won't consume more than n minus one operations. So all in all, still two n minus one operations. In the worst case, also you are not doing more than two n minus one operations. It makes sense, right? I hope you got it. So let me quickly summarize it for you. So we'll we'll run, run a loop from index one to n minus one. We'll run a loop from index one to n minus one. If AI is divisible by AI minus one, we'll just add one to AI. We'll just add one to AI. Okay. But before doing that, I'll make sure that there are no ones in the array because if ones are in the array, there is a problem. So I'll pre-process it beforehand before applying my strategy. Okay. So let's just do it. Let's see how can we do it. Here I have taken the input right. So here only if I'll check if array of i is one, simply add one to it. Simply add one to it. Basically, I'll perform one operation. Okay. So that I, that's what I've done. And now let's just uh, quickly go through the array and apply our strategy. So for int i equals to one, i less than n basically equals to n minus one, i plus plus. If array of i is divisible by array of i minus one, basically equal equal to zero, then what do you need to do? Array of i plus plus, array of i plus plus. And in the end, I guess they have asked us to print the array, right? So what, that's what I can do. So that will be simple for auto a array, c out a space, and in the end followed by a, new line okay so this is the array input and while taking the input only and making sure if there is a one just make sure it doesn't happen make at least two make make the array elements at least two and now just go through the array elements from left to right and whenever ai is divisible by a minus one just add one to it okay and this strategy works that we have seen so yeah and that's our finally i've printed the array uh, let me just quickly run it okay have I done any error yeah okay i forgot a semicolon uh, where did i forget yeah Yeah, so there are some outputs here. You can see two, five, three, seven. Okay, makes sense. Here two, three, four. Yeah, of course, this entire thing was was changed to two, two, three, and then uh, two, three, four. Fine, and then four, two is still four, two. Okay, let's just uh, quickly submit it and see if it works. Yeah, it works. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.